Alrighty guys, welcome back to Sea World Adventure Park Tycoon. We are back in the park building out the ultimate Sea World Orlando. And uh, it's slowly coming together. So far we have the Key West area completed. We put in a Kraken and Journey to Atlantis last time, along with basically getting the waterfront park area completed. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start off with planting some more grass because hey we got money to burn and we're going to spend it on sod. Yeah that's the whole point of this. Anyways so enjoy this time lapse as we get this started and then we're going to start coming back and seeing what we can uh, place down hopefully get some more guests coming into the park. So let's go. Okay, so now that we get the side of the park all nice and basically fixed and we also have the back of the park for the most part taken care of uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do so we have this open space right here that we need to fill in at some points so that's going to be something we can uh, work on but we also have this space back here that we need to work on which of course ends up being let's see here this ends up going to be uh, the Clyde and Seymour show so that's gonna go somewhere along back here but we also have the where is it the Pacific Point and also the Rocky Point Preserve all these have sea lions and otters and whatnot so we can put this in here as well so if we go ahead and put these back behind here so there is that right there. I think this actually ends up being, what is this, uh, otters and dolphins. So we can put that back there. We can also go ahead and get the Rocky Point Preserve installed somewhere along back here as well. But let me double check because we got to make sure we get our stadium in. And luckily our stadium will fit fairly easy. We just got to build a path that is uh, out this way. So if we go ahead and get this path working along back along this way here there we go go ahead and start to make it too wide go ahead and get this taken out this way and I'm getting very spotty with my path but we'll, we'll get it figured out anyways there we go alright so now that we got our path installed we can put in our stadium so we can line it up right about there which should work all things considered and we can also fit in a rocky point preserve right back here so it would be right behind it as it would uh, actually be so pretty neat but we could also use a little more space so if we go ahead let's delete this again here there we go and we can move this can we nope we can't we rotate it so we can put that right there and then we can put our rocky point preserve right there nice and perfectly so there we go we've got those installed we've got our new dolphin area back here go ahead and we got a bathroom right there so that's good we need to go ahead and put a bathroom back in this area over here just so that there is one so there we go we got a bathroom right back there now so that should help some guests out with the stuff uh, we also need, what else do we need? Can we put something else into this spot right here? No, we cannot, it doesn't look like. That would be nice if we could. 
But we can put something back here so we can put like a little arcade, which back by crack and there's a nice little arcade room. So we can put that back there. We also need to work on some uh, scenery in these areas as well. But I'll digress upon that for the moment. We'll go ahead and get our path to Sea Lion Stadium opened up right there. We'll also get our Pacific Point Preserve opened up and we'll get our scenery in. So a lot of this is the same scenery as everywhere else. Lots of palm trees and whatnot. So we'll get this nice and road along back here like that. Looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and get some palm trees for the backdrop back here of the, uh, I think this is the Rocky Point Preserve. So we'll get some of those placed in. We'll also put some more back along here to uh, be the background of the Rocky uh, Pacific Point Preserve. There we go. Now what we can do is obviously put in the show sign right there and right there. We can also put in a nice decorative palm tree right along there. And we can also put in some more along our nice little path area right there. So let's see. Let's also then put in put in some nice little flowers and whatnot right through there. We're also going to go ahead and put in some light fixtures and whatnot because that's going to help attract guests to come on this way and check out the new stadium. Which, by the way, we do need to uh, get back to here in a second so that we can set our capacity. Make sure that we're getting maximum capacity in the stadium and make sure we have popcorn ready to go. So there we go, get our nice little path basically taken care of here. We'll go ahead and put in some more light fixtures throughout here just to go ahead. We also haven't installed any light fixtures in the waterfront area, so we'll go ahead and get those taken care of as well. Just to keep everything nice and lit and appealing. So we got that taken care of. We need to go ahead and put in some more scenery. Which right along here, let's see, how far does this go? It goes to right about there. We'll go ahead and put in some fountains. Right along the edge of this one thing here. Go ahead and put in some uh, speakers and whatnot. Then we're going to put in some trees right here. Also put a another palm tree right there. There we go. So that's a nice area. We got our new little arcade room right back here. So that's going to help attract some more people onto uh, this area. Let's see. That's what else we have that we can put on back here. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and put in another shop back here because uh, Kraken and Atlantis they do have shops, so we can put that in. So there's a nice little shop area right back there for the souvenirs of the shops and whatnot. So there we go, we got that all nice taken care of. We got uh, Journey to Kraken here. Not Journey to Atlantis, currently broken down, so we gotta get that fixed. So we got all the guests coming in. Look on this right here. Very expensive show, so we need to fix the pricing on that. Let's see how much is 12 bucks for that. Uh, this is a much bigger show. So we'll go ahead and leave it at about 1450 here. As a lot of people want to come and enjoy this show as well. We'll go ahead and get our prices set for the animal interactions. There we go. And we need to put in some more scenery. So we're going to get some scenery right along here. We'll get some nice... What do we got? We got... Put some nice bright yellow bushes that we're going to put along here at the edge of Kraken. Just to keep that nice and clean looking. There we go. Looks good. Alright. And then what we have is this space right back here. So what this would be in all reality with uh, this, we'd have another restaurant. So another restaurant to go in. Also too, I did forget is that technically there would be another restaurant over here. But obviously we ran out of space. So we'll move on from there but we'll go ahead and put the marine grill in right on back here and it actually will fit sweet so there it is the marine grill nice and fitting in there 
as I had hoped. Very good. And we'll go ahead and get some nice little shrubbery. Or well, uh, not shrubbery, but uh, some nice grass and bushes and stuff put in there as well. Go ahead and get, there we go. It is a shrub. I thought that was a shrub. Anyways, go ahead and put that in there. And then we'll put in some nice palm trees back here as well to put some needed shade along the path back there. Going put a nice tall palm tree right there. There we go. And there we go. Kind of a tight space for everybody to fit into, but it does ultimately work. And uh, scenery is done pretty good. So let's see. We need to work back here for a second to get our... Uh, scenery up to snuff back in this area go ahead and get our uh, lamps and whatnot on our paths through here and keep that on going it really does for some reason it really does help with keeping the guests uh, walking on the path I don't understand it myself but uh, it does work so we'll go ahead and get that taken care of match our light posts as we go here and I think that should be about it it looks like right so right there we got all that nice and done we're gonna go ahead and put some bushes out in front of Journey to Atlantis, get that all nice and beautified. And also put in a nice big old palm tree right back there. And then we'll just uh, put in... What are we going to put in? We're going to put in some more of my favorite shrub, because it's nice and green and looks nice right along this path here, and just to help nice and beautify this whole area here as well. What we'll also do while I'm here is right along, right through there, there we go, we'll put in some nice white flowers just to kind of give you a little bit of a splash of color. Oh, thanks, consider that works out pretty good. I like it. We'll go also go ahead and uh, let's see, what else can we put in? Do we have more space for anything else? We already got a work booth there. So we know where that is. We got a booth right back here for our uh, workers. Definitely want to keep track of that. We got our main work booth right there in the front. We don't actually have any over here. So for right now, obviously this area of the park is still in a temporary state for the most part. We'll go ahead and get a little work shack over here just so uh, we can have our workers have a nice spot to be able to rest in. Alrighty, so we have greatly populated are uh, this side of the park quite well. Uh, honestly, it's become a little bit more of a mashup than I had hoped for. It had to make it a look a little bit more like the actual map, but eh, that's what happens when you have to kind of force strangely shaped items into uh, one confined space. But it works. It works. Let's see. Can we put a bush here? There, we got a palm tree. Sweet. Alrighty, so that's going to be it for today's video. We didn't get a... Well, actually, no, we did get quite a bit done. We got some grass put down. We also got our brand new sea line and otter stadium uh, built in, along with the uh, Rocky Point Preserve, Pacific Point Preserve, new arcade for the people to enjoy. And uh, we actually have brought quite a few people over to this area and have got people coming over and visiting. So that's really, really neat to see. So very very good we got that all nice and taken care of and we also had almost a thousand people in the park now so uh, we're doing something right apparently so next time what I think we're gonna work on is we're gonna try and do some reconstruction of the front and we're gonna try and put in the uh, fill in for oh well, you know what uh, pipeline the pipeline fit in which of course will be the electric eel and the electric eel is also at some point going to have to fit in for uh, Mako because it's the thing that looks closest to it so anyways that's all in the future so we'll have to see how that all happens but that's uh, the basic plan at the moment so anyways guys 
that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you guys here next time with some retro gaming as we build out SeaWorld Orlando in the ultimate park in SeaWorld Tycoon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.